My name is Greg Foreman. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I live here in Los Angeles. My alias is Mr. Pharmacist. And uh, you might know me from such projects as Cat Power, The Gossip, did a record with Alan Vega from Suicide, Lucinda Williams, L.A. Witch, Kate Clover, played with Lydia Lunch, just tons of bands. Some of my influences, I mean, it really spans the gamut because music to me is all sort of R&B and soul, um, regardless of what instrument was used to create it or who was creating it. So there's always soul around, but I got into the idea of making music from seeing things like The Cure, Depeche Mode, uh, Fad Gadget. I think what I stumbled into was like the post-punk kind of music scene. You know, when I discovered things like Joy Division and New Order, The Cure, they were, the synthesizer was sort of prominent. Although I played guitar as well, but like really, um, the thing that kicked off the synth love for me was the soundtrack to Blade Runner. And uh, it just is a another character in the film. It's so present and uh, it really transports you to this off-world, you know, LA in the not too distant future, you know. Currently, I'm working on a record with uh, tattoo artist Kat Von D. Well, so for Love Made Me Do It, really, Kat had some songs written already. And at a certain point, she decided that she wanted to strip the tracks and replace everything with synths, you know, and, and synth synthesizer type stuff, drum machines and the like. And uh, my strong point is um, analog synths and like outboard gear, hardware, you know. We started by kind of like silencing all the instruments that were already there and replacing the feeling with the electronic instruments. And for me, the idea is like sort of that Blade Runner thing again, it's like, how do you give a machine soul, you know what I mean? So we're playing these electronic instruments, but like how do you convey life through an electronic instrument? And I think that that, things, ideas like anxiety or romance or whatnot, and I think uh, that's what I love about synthesis is that like you can manipulate it in a way so a machine has a soul, you know what I mean? When I was inquiring about unusual synths, this friend was like, yeah, the summit's really interesting because it's not exactly like everything else and it has the ability to kind of like, you can make it your own. And I feel like when I turned it on the very first time, I put my hands on it, which is my favorite thing to do with the synth, is to feel it, you know, and see what happens. And uh, it felt great. And, and I, I connected with it. And I think like, if it didn't have that sort of connection, I don't, it probably would have sat on the floor or like I would have, you know what I mean? So it, it ended up being something that I think is unique. So it really helps to, to be in love with your instruments, to be honest with you. I know it sounds kind of weird, but like with analog synthesis, to me personally, there's a warmth and sort of a undescribable, like, you know, we all, we like vinyl. You know, it's kind of like some people can't tell the difference between vinyl and mp3 or a digital format for me it's like how do how are we analog souls in this digital world you know it's like how do we i hear a difference and so these these instruments are tools for me again to kind of access something with more soul in my opinion what makes the summit special is like the layout of the synth first off is it, do, it doesn't result in a lot of menu diving which is something that as a, as a synth player, I don't really love to do. Um, everything's kind of clearly laid out, all the filters, all the oscillators, you know, it's really just all there. And the effects section's really lush. Um, that's the first thing I love about it. It's also a really great sound design synth because it, like I said, each synth does something different. The Summit does a, like a lot, it's sort of like a chameleon in a way, like it can do, like Oberheimish kind of sounds. It can do prophetish kind of sounds, but it's its own thing, if you under, if you know what I mean. To be honest with you, um, I draw a lot of uh, inspiration from the past. Experiences that we might look on as wreckage or tragic or, or something like that, but they help us transform and grow into something 
different, right? Transformation is a huge part of what inspires me. And I think it all comes back to, um, again, sort of replicant, wanting more life in Blade Runner, you know, like how, how, um, how machines, they really just want soul like the rest of us, you know, and, uh, and I hope to help give these machines some soul, and uh, that's what inspires me.